Alright. So I kind of want to see what level this zone is, because I have no idea. What is this? Did I come in from there? I wish one thing they changed was, um, depend I know it says level 50, but after veteran ranks it would tell you an accurate VR level depending on what zone it is for you. It's a little more effort, but I think they made enough money to be able to help with that. I mean, I'll, I'll try to read them. If I get any bonuses, cool. If not, I didn't expect any. This looks like the Mage's Guild. It's actually pretty fancy. Speak quickly. I am very busy, and our order is stretched to the breaking point. Of course. I'm sorry. You've come to help us, and I'm being rude. Then I'll start from the beginning. A short while ago, the three Guardian star signs, the warrior, the mage, and the thief, vanished from the night sky. I wish I knew. I've studied the stars my whole life. I've heard them speak. But now they're silent. It's eerie. All I know is when the Guardians disappeared, three powerful beings started attacking Craglord. They call themselves the Celestials. I don't know. It's not a name I'd ever heard before. Two of the Celestials identify themselves as the Warrior and the Mage. The third, strangely, calls himself the Serpent, after the 13th constellation. The Thief is nowhere to be found. Stargazers consists of scholars who are no match for the current threat. We need champions to face the warrior, the mage, and the serpent. And, if possible, to find the thief. Join us. Thank you. We have a lot of work to do. But first, you must become an official member of our order. Enter the Circle of Stars and accept our blessing. Stars above, let this new light do your will. If this makes me better, stars. let them always follow where you lead. Oh, please aid, them. please aid them. And bless them to restore those who have fallen from glory. Our missing guardians. Oh, please bless oh, them. Please. We must talk. Do not be afraid. I am a friend. Forgive me. I did not know any other way to contact you without revealing myself. Even now, the Serpent's followers, the Scaled Court, are searching for me. I am the Celestial Thief. I appeared with the other Guardians when the Serpent broke free and manifested in Tamriel. One by one, the Serpent trapped the others. First the Warrior, then the Mage. He wants to do the same to me. Yes. They attack Kraglorn against their will. Listen. The Serpent's nature is chaos. He wants to undermine the very order of reality. He will not stop with Kraglorn. My power alone is not enough. You must free the other Guardians. I will help you as much as I dare, but the Serpent is looking for me. If he ensnares me as he has the others, all is lost. Hara and the Stargazers will help you. Use their knowledge. Look for the presence of the Scaled Court. Where they are, the Serpent is surely at work. But you must not tell anyone you saw me. The Serpent's followers are everywhere. It would be surprising if I didn't. The Stargazers are only dimly aware of it. They carry an ancient legacy as students of the star signs. Their devotion has not gone unnoticed. In a way, just as you might look at a picture of the star signs and say, that's the thief, or that's the warrior, 
Just so. I'm the thief. Or one way of seeing the thief. Of the twelve rightful star signs, it's the Guardian's duty to protect the lesser signs, our charges, against the destructive ways of the Serpent. With the warrior and mage under the Serpent's control, their charges are vulnerable. So is Tamria. Interesting. So this is like... Hidden. You have been accepted hey, um. by the stars above. You are now one of us. The stars have accepted you. I just hope it is not too late. Volumes of prophecy have been written about the stars, but not even the oracles foresaw these events. Gather allies before you leave the city. You'll need loyal friends to face the armies of the warrior, the mage, and the serpent. Uh, I don't have any Return friends. Return to me each time you learn something new. I will use what you learn to devise a plan to defeat the Celestials. It appears that the Serpent has gathered. All I know is that one of our known. Tradition holds that strange things. I wouldn't rule the Atronach. I'm at a loss. All right, so we got to find all of them. In other words, uh, before we do anything, I gotta check something. There's not like a basic set number of quests in here. It's more of like a lot of party quests. So I don't really know what to expect, the honestly. Apex stone could be the key. Excuse me. Hara says you've joined our number. That's very exciting. Because I believed I've discovered something that could help us understand who or what the Celestials really are. I've learned from certain ancient writings that this may not be the first time the Celestials have appeared in Craglorn. These legends describe a link between Mundus and the stars, right here in Craglorn. Apex stones, they call them. I know where to find one of these stones. A great Mundus stone dedicated to the Celestial Warrior. But it's locked deep in the ruins of Kardala. Only a Skystone amulet, the kind worn by ancient Nedic priests, can open the way. Many Dwarven religious texts refer to a Dwemer site called Mitharnas. A high priest named Arnmin wrote that he wished to be buried there, among the Masters of the Heavenly Stone. His burial site is our best chance of finding a Skystone amulet. Nedic writings talk about the Apex Stones in a variety of ways, but they all agree that there is a connection between the stars and these stones. If we can understand that connection, perhaps we can find out how to stop the Celestials. Nedic writings suggest that the need We don't know- The needs apparently- so I don't see myself being in here too long right now because I don't have a party. <laughs> and these people here are like, they know what they're doing. Nah, I have no idea what's going on. Mournhold. Yep. <laughs> it has a plus sign on it. You know it's difficult then. I kind of do want to explore actually. But if I ever do come back here, it would be after I complete all like the gold um, Caldwell's gold. That's when people said you should start it. What level are the people I have on my friends list, by the way? This guy is VR10. He knows what he's doing. We've got some 8s and 7s. And then a lot of people who are playing on alts. Yeah, look, all these people over here are VR 14, or at least 10. They know what they're doing. I'm kind of just here. <laughs> this place does look really nice, though. Hello there. What can I do for you? Oh, these are guild stuff. Maybe next month I'll actually start recruiting from my guild. 
I have it, it was just never really done. Oh my god, this is a VR11 zone. That's a camel. <laughs> I see. So yeah, I should probably not be here right now. I do want to test something though. I don't expect to live, but I just want to see how how far I would get without dying. I need your help. When did these accursed soldiers appear? I can't tell you how relieved I am to find you. I'm Ibrula, a friend of the Stargazers. I'm trying to gain entry to this temple, but the Celestial Warriors' army of Ankara have sealed the door. I need help to get past them and disable the seals. I believe the temple holds the secret to ending the Celestial threat. A vast library called the Seeker's Archive waits inside. I visited it before, looking for answers to impossible questions. But since the Ankara appeared, the way is sealed. The temple door can be opened by activating beams in the surrounding ruins. We need to find the source of the beams and activate them to open the door. But we must be careful, as powerful Ankara surely guard these locations. We must find. I can't. That is this temp. The seekers. Are I kind of just want to see. I know these are VR 11, and I shouldn't be here. But I want to see if I can even kill things without dying. If not, well, obviously we're just gonna leave. So. Okay, I. That's a no go. <laughs> That is a no-go. Ooh, that. Okay. Good to know. I aggroed one of them, and then I get wrecked by like eight of them. Okay, so, we're gone. It's good to know we found this place, though. So, Craig Lauren, VR11. Cyrodiil, PvP. This place is done. Let's actually... I like your desert. That one's is VR4, I think. VR4. Aradon. That one's VR6. Balfoyan. I don't remember this place. Bancorai is VR5. Bleak Rock, I. I think everything is done. Cold Harbor is done. Craig Lauren, we just got wrecked. That wasn't there before. Hey, Sean is done. East March. East March is done. Gnumbra, we just did that one. Grotwood, that's VR8. How do I get there from here? That's uh, green shade. No, green shade is VR8. Grotwood is like 7. Roost is just a side thing. Malbo Victoria, I think, is VR9. I don't. Oblivion, I have no idea. Reaper's March, VR10. Riven Spire, VR3. We could do the one in Stone Falls. This is definitely the starting area of the Ebonheart. In case anyone has any clue, most people should know this if you chose the Ebonheart or got there already. We're kind of close to the next veteran rank anyway. Hopefully, the boss is here and people didn't kill it. I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Because this one is in a tricky location, actually. I remember seeing it once and then not doing it because um, this is like over a year ago. Well, not over a year, like almost a year. And 
couldn't do it back in the day. So now, now we can. I don't know why I'm so far behind. Like, I'm trying to go back and do everything. Seems to not be working. Yeah, it's down on that ship, I believe. I just have to figure out how to get there. Without dying, of course. How does one actually get down there? Oh god. Okay, you can actually get through. Did not know that. Covenant infantry. I don't think there should be anyone over here. Is that the boss? Nope, that's not the boss. It would have a unique name. This could be it, though. There it is. It's obviously the biggest one in the group, so... Okay then. <laughs> what do I do with my life now? Is there really nothing else here? I feel like I've done the Garado before. Does it not count? I'm pretty sure I even have it on video when I did Degarado with a friend. This is back a few months ago. It's in the co-op playlist of ESO. Oh, how do I get back up now? Oh goody. Alright, where am I going? See if we could cheat and <laughs> just teleport to somebody. You're in the rift. How would you teleport to someone? I know you can. You have to be in the party with them. I have no idea. Either they fixed it, or you have to be in a party with them now. I remember doing this mission. It was actually hard. While <laughs> the first time you did it. Now you should be fine, obviously. we doing now I'm pretty sure I actually have done this before doesn't appear as completed so I don't know maybe you have to do it again Who's there? You're not part of my expedition. Interesting. This is no random chance. I believe you're the answer to our problem. We're searching these caverns for a sacred shrine that's been lost for ages. Our problem is that dreg and goblins are overrunning the place. Goblins are slow-witted. If you kill their chieftain, they must accept you as their leader. Stick the chieftain's head on a spike somewhere the whole tribe can see. Then lead them to attack the dreg. Once the dreg's king is dead, 
will be free to explore, and to reward you handsomely, of course. <laughs>